23% Native American. That's, that's, that's pretty big. That's, that's real big. big. That right. only leaves 77% left. You are 6% European. Well, so what does that mean? Hang on. <laughs> the moment we've all been waiting for. Charles Barkley is 75% Sub-Saharan African. AKA black. <laughs> Drum roll, please. Snoop Dogg, you are 71% sub Saharan African. Fourteen percent Native American. which explains the gambling. <laughs> you are 11% European. Okay. And Charles Barkley, you are 75% Sub-Saharan African. 75%! Right there. Thirty-two percent Native American, nine percent East Asian. Now we're going to go on to Tina Turner. Uh, her family reports uh, indigenous American ancestry. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Tina grew up believing that two of her grandparents were part Native American. But you're only 1% Native American. You know how your family has always thought that you had all this Native American yes, heritage? Yes, yes, yes. It was white heritage that oh, you sure. had. All this time, I've been thinking Indian. I was dying to find out what tribe it was. You're from the tribe of <laughs> Europe. <laughs> wow. And I'm 3% Native American. So I got just a little Indian in me. You got a little Indian in you. 0% Native American. And 0% Native well, American. There you go. And 0% who were Native American. We're going to have to tell the Choctaw Nation in Oklahoma now. <laughs> I, I misrepresented myself. I'm not Choctaw at all, you know. <laughs> and you'll see there's no figure for Native American because you ain't got no Native American. <laughs> Set the record straight. Even Don Cheadle, who we would expect to have some Native American ancestry From because... That yeah, because of the connection to the Chickasaw, members of your family owned by Native Americans. But we don't find any. Wow. And you're not alone in not having any measurable Native American ancestry. One in about every 20 African Americans only, only one in 20 has any significant amount of Native American ancestry. So apocryphal. <laughs> I was reading to prepare for this interview, I was quite surprised to see you use the word Aborigines talking about African Americans. You know, I, I've dealt with that issue. Um, uh, I've already you know, talked publicly about that. And my purpose here today is to say that I'm very sorry and I apologize to anyone whose feelings were hurt by my comments. I've made very, very clear I don't know where that 
comment comes from. Um, well, from your subconscious. <laughs> well, I, I guess. I mean, it's not even a normal thing anyone would say, even if you meant something in a negative fashion. I don't know if you would pull that out. But for me personally, you can't just uh, close down camp and stop trying to do the things that you think are right uh, just because somebody you know, you may give them an unfortunate bit of ammunition.